Why do fairies like paws? What is it that attracts our attention? Is it the smells? Is it the looks? Is it the amazing softness of our paw pads that your face can just squish in? Maybe it's a toes where they wiggle about in front of your face, hypnotizing you. Why paws? Because she doesn't love to be squished under some big paws. Just squashing down the top of your face, showing your place in the world. That in the end, you give in and understand that because it's so soft and smells wonderful, you can't help yourself and give in to your urges and just enjoy some furry paws. Like it's a funny thing, furry paws. It doesn't take much for some to get excited by seeing my big fluffy paws. <laughs> and yes, I know, I am such a tease. But hey, it gets a view, so if I need to show off my paws to get views, then so be it. <laughs> But why paws? Well, it's interesting. Is it associated with foot lovers? Yes and no. Sure, a lot of people that like paws also like feet, but that's not always the case. No, no, not at all. Some only like the paw aspect. Maybe a part of it could be the cuteness of fursuiters just showing off their paws. In that sense, I can understand that. Like, it's a bit different though than like seeing like a vor image, for example. Like the last Y video I did, go check that out. <laughs> when you see an open maw just drooling saliva, you can't help but go, oh my. When you see a fursuiter or whatever character showing its paws, you can't help but go, aw, cute. I feel like majority of paw lovers generally enjoy the cuteness of it all. And just like the look of paws, it's like, it's not highly sexualized as much as for, though it can be. <laughs> though of course, there's the power play of it. Being pressed under paws, like you're nothing. Nothing but a foot west for someone. You walk around on your feet all day and they can come real dirty and sweaty. Just absolutely filthy. So pressing your feet against someone can be kinda nasty for some. But that is what's enjoyable for some of those people. Others, it could just please them, maybe by the smell, maybe the taste, or they just like feeling someone dominate them in such a way. So of course, it could simply be a kink for someone. Cause it's like that forbidden thing that's still kinda basic, but enough of a kink that people can be turned off by it. Paws could very much be associated with the same kink as feet. There's not much else you could really do with paws, but again, there's a cuteness factor there. And some just want to be squished by some cute toe beads is all. It doesn't have to be sexual or anything like that, more so just playful. So in a way, there's some innocence there. Like the idea of tickling one's paws is just playfulness for a lot of people. Paws can simply be an innocent love for a lot of furries, and I can understand that. Who doesn't want to be hugged up against my paws, for example? <laughs> And well, I think it starts off like that. Seeing artwork of people's feet is a very different experience from seeing artwork of paws. It's one of the things that look good in art form and so people will come more interested in paws because of that. And then maybe it will turn into feet, but for the most part, folks just love paws in art form. And like, you know, and, and that also includes scaly paws as well. <laughs> they don't always have to have toe beads, they can be scaly paws as well. Paws is a little bit more difficult for me to try and talk about, honestly. Compared to Vore. For one, I am more interested in Vore stuff. <laughs> but also, like, there's so much more to it. Like I said in that video, there's a comfort thing for a lot of people. But also, they saw a lot as cartoons and such, and it just kind of grew from there. For paws, I don't feel like it has quite the same connection. But at the same time, there are a lot of shows or hell, Godzilla and his big feet stomping around crushing buildings and such. It give you like a good shot of his scaly paw coming down on top of a building. It's enough to make you wonder, how would being squished by that big foot feel? Would you just seek into fat flesh or what? And so there's been a lot of kids shows that have micro macro moments where it's like the whole, whole foot like sort of paw play does play a lot into that. Because, well, big feet crossing people, not always to death, but, like, being, like, squished into their paws and taking it for a wide. That happens a lot in cartoons. Yeah, there's been cartoons and such as a kid that have done this kind of stuff. Yeah, the more I think about it, I can see it being a thing from your childhood that you slowly get more and more interested in. An example, you see a tall fursuiter with his big paws. It reminds you of when you were a kid seeing his big feet in cartoon characters and you're wondering, what it feels to be squished by those big paws? <laughs> So guys, let me know if you're into paws down below, and if you would like to be squished by my big paws. <laughs> if you would like to just be right in the middle here as I just flip. <laughs> also, I apologise if the sound was bad in this video. 
I know it's like, yeah, I am a bit more further away because I'm like this. <laughs> so I do apologize if it sounds bad. I do apologize for everything. Uh, I apologize for those who are not into pause or just like watching this still. But if you are into pause, let me know. And let me know if you want to be crossed by mine. <laughs> and also, don't forget to give my give my pause a like. <laughs> give this video a like, guys. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to my video. Because I'll love you if you do. Hit that bell icon. And this fox says, be who you want to be. Alright, guys. Bye for now. <laughs>